The views, opinions and comments shared in this video podcast do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions by this broadcast. We don't promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel are meant for educational purposes only. A pleasant good afternoon to members of the public. We have with us today Mr. Kalinda, who have joined us. He is our guest once more at the Michael Morgan Show. So welcome, Mr. Kalinda. Thank you very much, Mr. Morgan. And it's nice to be here once more again. You know, so, you know, we like to know what you have in store for us this morning. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me laugh, <laughs> Kalinda. Kalinda, today we're going to be discussing Mr. Rowley announcement of a million dollar crime plan that is. Mm. And what I'm proud to say is that it shows certain features where financial resources would be coming to bear with the poor and needy of our community. You know, when coming to development of our particular area, there's a tendency that it doesn't reach down to the single mothers, the, the single fathers, the poor who really need the work. Mm -hmm. It's always a sort of corruption where millions of dollars, you know, it, it costing more money than they budgeted for. And there's a whole heaping set of uh, issue where bad boys taking, taking bribe and you know going and passing the money, no, no party and coming to work and all this kind of thing. So community leaders. Community leaders. So let me pause and let me get a little two cents about what what you think about that plan. Um, well, well, Mr. Morgan, the, the positives to the plan is that um, the money allocated somewhat would be put in responsible hands, that is to say the um, Trying to Bebo Defense Force. Mm -hmm. And um, as the plan is supposed to go, this money is to fix um, well, there are issues with where, where there are certain infrastructures such as employment, Mm -hmm. facilities so hopefully a great to the various yes. development of our communities, of our communities particularly yes. hot spots and things like that because yes. there's one statement where the reason for the crime the the whole depository of crime mm -hmm. is because there isn't enough resources reaching to the small man you know what i mean is a kind of top Top heavy kind of a society. Yeah, big fish, big fish, big fish. I mean, Correct. The small fish take the fall, fall as always. Right, as they say, the one percent. And um, one thing I want to mention is the question of communities like East Port of Spain, after being neglected and being deprived of certain development and so on. What you think is responsible for that? You believe a million dollars crime plan would uh, effectively remedy that situation? No, it would not. In this instance, it would not. You see, crime has been rooted deep. So, what this plan would do, if, if it is followed to protocol, mm. it would sort of alleviate, it would ease. Mm. Because, you see, it would have, um, apply to the younger, the, younger, the younger men, women, you understand? Mm -hmm. Of a certain ethnic group, mm -hmm. this would be appealing to them to deal with their day and their plights as of today more than now the old criminals who are already rooted in the ways mm -hmm. this would not you know filter down the line to deal with them they will keep planning they will keep training but those who are not recruited this plan would take them mm -hmm. before they could fall into the, the hands of crime so you, you believe that all the whole that uh, hundred million crime plan mm -hmm. that will be dealing with infrastructural development, the upgrade to various facilities because in previous podcasts we talk about people moving out of the community, certain infrastructure is being destroyed. We are very much concerned. I'm pleased to also mention that the East Port of Spain Development Company have decided to sort of um, create a different outlook in terms of the pan theaters. They have programs in the pan theaters now yes, where yes. 
you know, that we could go and uh, currently I am uh, a, a participant of of one of those programs. That's All right, but uh, yeah, I guess yeah, I, I it's only pa the only panther there, the only panther yeah, there Duke. is Duke, on Duke Street there. Yeah. And there's a mass production. What's the name of the lady? You familiar with the lady? Uh, Miss Attila. Attila and group for the Springer. Kambu, yeah, yes. Right. Kambu, Kambu, group. And yes, they're doing yes. wonderful work there. <laughs> so I guess people would know how to be, uh, know the history about um, the sick fighting, the masqueraders, the different um, venues where you could go to a pan theater and, you know, like a tourist attraction. Yes, so yes. Port of Spain is not simply about crime or it run down city and you know people coming out of it and they're advocating for you to go quite um show on us to, to train to <laughs> train our people yes, yes all right it is now taken into account with the advocacy of uh perhaps miss springer yes, yes and their their group yeah kudos kudos because what this this workshop is doing it is also edifying us to the history of our people Mm -hmm. dated back to slavery coming into the development of our country to the present day Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. Sadly, there were no other entities who were doing this before. So where this program is going, we are being edified of our culture, of our great lost ones who come and fought for things that are now free to us. Privileges, rights that are now free, they fought for that. But they what came out of the workshop too, mm -hmm. and still coming out, coming but it, out is of currently, it is currently in taking progress. place. Yes, yes. Is the question that these um, people is not recognized, there is, much, there is not much record of these, people, of, yes. um, these location and things like that. Mm -hmm. All right. There is also a program coming up in, on the Beatum with golf. Yes. And in the savannah, so there are certain activities that will be pursued, supported by the sport of Spain. Because you know them is a a, a, a player in the whole question of resources is, yes. and so on. And dealing with crime, because as as well, a lot of people wouldn't mention it, but Puerto Spain is now like the hub of crime. Mm -hmm. it, there's always recorded shooting and murders mm. at above average than anywhere else in the country. Right. So more programs, more programs mm. are needed. Mm. They still haven't touched with dealing with the young males, mm. the, the females, the single mothers, you know. So seeing these programs come in, they are for, mm. and they would apply to everybody to come and be a part of it. But there are programs that are needed to, to help with the, the young men. Right, and you see that hundred million dollars it's supposed to touch it's supposed to right but what it would do is just skim the top of the barrel because no, well, they would be dealing with the men on the streets with mm -hmm. this or the people on on the on the level i should say ground level but what about those who are rooted deep this money wouldn't apply to them because they're deep in corruption bringing in the guns the drums mr mr calendar <laughs> uh, i beg to the food here you beg to i beg to the food here because uh -huh. um the fact remains that these fellas on his, who is by the street corners and so on mm -hmm. who is influencing the uh the, the the situation in the community mm -hmm. i don't think them have any um them have any really weight to influence crime as such all right and um if it is that there is responsible organization like like Ms. Springer, mm -hmm. uh, David Mohammed, uh, the Emancipation Committee, these blacks organization, they ought to sort of be more vocal and get involved instead of, you know, focus on the little pie during the carnival season or during the emancipation season, or as the case might be. So I am suggesting mm -hmm. that with this hundred million dollars crime plan yes we could get involved mm -hmm. as civil society and steer the direction in where we what we believe that the community the community could do in terms of infrastructural development social development cultural development and yes. so on yes. so we cannot say it's waste of time no it's not it's right not. definitely not but it wouldn't 
get the the effect that we would well, take our time. We should have about two two hundred million dollars. Yes, yes, stop. A little more. <laughs> yes, a little more. Well, I would agree with that. <laughs> yes, I would yes. agree with that. Now hundred million is not yeah, enough. Yeah, it's not. I <laughs> no, agree no, with that one. Enough. I agree with that one. Yeah, yeah. It's not. No, we have um, we have a gentleman by the name of um, our MP. I I I want to know what, what Bunny playing with this so that I could join that Bunny. He seemed to be very, very <laughs> joyful and very, you know, involved yes, yes, in yes, the band. Yes. And, and I, I want to know what band it is so that I could, you know, be part of that band. Because um, Port of Spain South would be one of the communities that would be uh, more or less, you know, in need for those infrastructural development. Should be a community pinpointed on the head of, head of the list. Mm -hmm. Because we have de deteriorating schools, we have health centers or community centers designated that are taken over by the law services. So you know, there is a lot. Mm -hmm. There is a lot that this would help to situate the, the, the community, make the community able to breathe, you know, be able to had that sigh of relief, no more gunshots because you know there are jobs, there are programs, there's assistance. So, you know, we look forward to the initiation and the application mm -hmm. of the program ASAP. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it is a it is a bit of good news for I a while. tend to agree with you. It's very it's sort of mirror. It's sort of mirror to the Prime Minister of Jamaica, Mr. Andrew. Holness. Yes, Mr. Holness, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Where he have um, announced in his country the whole question of the intent to stop that sort of free reign with the criminal benefiting from the contracts and the ghost gangs mm -hmm. and a whole host of uh, ills that, the, that, that tend to be, you know, evolving out of these um, government contracts or government opportunities yes. that is meant for the whole society. And I also would like to pinpoint the whole question of who basically does be benefiting in general? <laughs> if it's the poor set of society that really need, the, like the mason, the carpenter, the small contractors, you know, one have to ask if there will be mechanism they say that the soldiers will be on board you know but um according to you one wonder if that really would have a change of, of heart in terms of it, the program running the way in which it's supposed to be running now what i would want to pinpoint is what sort of infrastructural change and development would be emphasized upon Mm -hmm. If this it is, yeah, this is it, something we would look forward to seeing. What kind of what, what time? Yeah, yeah, what, yeah, what sort of place? development plan? Yes. If it will be holistic, if it will be centered around uh, just a whole question of uh, youth groups, who, uh, programs, <laughs> and, and just policy, <laughs> policy groups seem to be a, a trend. Yes, a whole emphasis on police youth groups. Yeah, right. We we know that. Um, and I, I don't want to be up here like a pong in the police and things like that. They're trying their best. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, doing yeah. The, they're doing what needs to be done and so on. What but the, with the resources provided. With the resources <laughs> provided, yes. yes. And I want to say that there ought to be some kind of a collaboration between groups that is already doing instead of... Reforming, re renaming and coming again with the same trend because that's what they seem to do. Mm. They rename it and they bring it back. It's the same thing. No, but so if there is collaboration with communities and because communities, it, yes. you can't deal with the trend without dealing with the whole community. So mm. the focus I want to suggest to the to the you know the authority, the powers that be, is that they could take a sort of um, take a sort of look at the question of collaboration with various civil organizations, church, the this, the that, the other, instead of doing Simply, it independently. Yeah, yeah, you deal with the NGOs. They are the men on the ground. These are the people on the street. There are a lot of NGOs out here that are working harder than ministers. Okay. 
Okay. Well, Mr. 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 Colander, I want to take a break at this point. Yes, sir. And when we come back, we'll continue with our yes, yes. hot topics. Fiery discussion here. All right. Then. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. The views, opinions, and comments shared in this video podcast do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions by this broadcast. We don't promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel are meant for educational purposes only. Previously, on, on our break, we basically were discussing a various issues that is affecting the community. We are back here to, to continue. Mr. Calendar, we mm -hmm. were dealing with re just now about um, the plan, plan yes, sir. to to sort of um, ensure that we have a more a more steady community, a, a crime-free community, and so on. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were debating the whole question if one million is sufficient. All right, because we want to re a place that has been neglected for so long, it has become chronic. It has become habitually become a cultural affirmation that nothing other than corruption could work in hot spot areas. Right. I don't know if it are cool spot areas, but they're focusing on hot, hot spot, spot areas. areas. Yeah. All right, so before the cool spots become hot. And the other areas that I believe that is hot on the Prime Minister um, table is the question of he want to revisit back the affirmation program. Yes. Action program. Yes. All right? Yes. And that was one of the programs that was uh, tabled by him when uh, UNC was in power. But he it gets played on. Eh? He, was in he was in cabinet. Yeah. At, at the time when it was brought to, to, to the table he for discussion. He's the one who, who yeah. table it. Yeah, he All right, it. and I think the UNC make a mockery out of it. And they, they turn it down. Has the, well, of course they turn it down. <laughs> but I want to highlight what the angle they used to, to turn, it turn, turn it down. down. It wasn't an equitable um, plan in terms of, you're talking in terms of um, African getting a, 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 an opportunity to to rise to level the, 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 the play, to be playing part field. of the playing yeah. field, so, yeah. to, to play in the, on the playing field. So because the program was dedicated mm -hmm. to, to, to target the young black African men of yeah. urban areas yeah. to stray away from crime, mm -hmm. they kick against it. So <laughs> Right, well, he tra he, he's stating that he's in government now and there isn't anything that should stop that. So hence the reason I believe the hundred million dollars crime plan have mm -hmm. come into being. Okay, right. And um, what I want to suggest is that it doesn't only deal with crime spot and hot spot and that sort of thing. It deal with infrastructure, it deal with um, preventing crime. So it should be a more community thing. Well, of course, you have to do things holistic instead of, you know, you're only centering on the army dealing with this and the army dealing with that. Perhaps they ain't take, they ain't get the training. So they might only see uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Right? Military camp business, boot camp, boot right. camp finish. So, yeah. so um, we need to have more of a discussion in terms of how that hundred million dollars could effectively, you know, be mm -hmm. useful to us. And as you rightfully say, for them to have an effective program, mm -hmm. they would have to reach out again to the, the, the various little organizations and groups, the NGOs who have been there, mm -hmm. knowing the plight of the people within the communities and lays with them. It should just be joint. You shouldn't just say 100 million into the Defense Force hands so that they could deal with this. The Defense Force and they should research and say, okay, there's Living Waters Committee or there is CIPOS or there is this this community or there's this group mm -hmm. that we could involve these people to help filter and siphon how 
we could sort these people okay there's this group of guys we could reach they're easy to talk to we know this we don't have to go out there and process we use these groups and these people to help bonafide bonafide group because you, what, you, what you could be advocating i mm-hmm. could recall a time when there was they were sharing out some you are a pre-project and they say you had to just bring a, a group mm-hmm. let's have a group with some names and there was a lot of copy book stating that that is their group yes. and there are some names and a lot of group was born out of that mm-hmm. okay so it have to be scientifically done to the ministry of community development because they have a host of register organization yes. that is bona fide and so on well that, that is what i would imply eh? not just my name and paper people yes. who are existing we're not careful <laughs> with yes. the length of co- yes. corruption that in this society of you'll course. find a lot of copy book of course. saying that this is this yes. is an organization form over six months ago yes or ten or ten years even yes. ago and we put in and this is our membership yes we want to work we put in 3.5 in the hand yeah well, eventually, those who, <laughs> in, who who know this one and who know this counselor, who know this MP and so on, will get through with that. Yes. So we we are praying that it doesn't Chuckle go down that road. That. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't yes. go down that road. Good idea, great plan. Mm-hmm. Execution is mm-hmm. left to be seen. But we cannot, I agree, say execution is left to be seen. Mm-hmm. We have to be proactive to get involved in the execution. Well, that's it. We ain't just an organization. We ain't just, we ain't just a people that... Uh, God has just set by and that, take, it, take well, it lined up. Yeah, we need <laughs> to be more proactive. Yes, yes. And the groups that I mentioned a while ago, we are calling on them to be more proactive and unite because I could recall quite recently there was a move to sort of collectively approach government with some various groups to, to improve their infrastructure you know, upgrade to the infrastructure. Mm-hmm. And people get cold feet and back out because they don't want to rock the boat. Apparently, there must be, from, there must be, um... Mm-hmm. If, you are, if, you are, if you are outspoken, mm-hmm. if you know the way around to get things done, you mm-hmm. become a target. Well, that is not a right policy, eh? That is definitely not a well, right we policy. we see this a lot. We see this and, a lot. Um, that is doing a disservice to the society. Hence the reason we need to pray a lot. Yes. We believe in praying. We are a praying nation. Of course. All right? But maybe we need to pray day and night to solve this um, epidemic of crime mm-hmm. that is taking place. Deeply rooted corruption is one of the main reasons mm-hmm. for the, the height mm-hmm. and I would say the audacity of the criminals because they do anything blatant like, okay, mm-hmm. Well, I would want to take a different view of that, you know, because the criminal, who they call in criminal, is not the the usual the usual criminal where the white collar crime. Then they seem to be they seem to sort of you know ignore that type of criminal Headless. when that is the head of the criminals. Yeah. They, they manufacture the crime, okay? They bring in the gun, mm-hmm. okay? okay? They orchestrate X, Y, and Z. So the emphasis about we criminal and that kind of thing is them working for the, for the big boss and them. Yeah, that was it. So the okay. small fries, we, 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 right? we see the small fries. That is why they, they, they call them the bad boy, right? We have to do some, some, some certain type of analysis of what is taking place and we don't get caught up you know singing a hymn mm. about crime and who is the criminal and that kind of thing like that right <laughs> you remember this ghost we call them ghost gang they yeah. call themselves the where they who threaten appeared. they appeared um they appeared suddenly for the new year and right. threaten the other factors and politicians and corrupted officials that they would be in operation by the end of this month. Okay. So that's another thing to be seen. Right. Well, then we have to take note of what they're saying too. Yes. Is if it is, if it is warranted. Now we are calling for people to pray. Them is calling that they do something more effective 
other than praying. Well, they, the ghost gang would seem to be a vigilante. The, as, well, who have heard the little broadcast or seen the videos? Mm-hmm. I have heard the, the vocal broadcast mm-hmm. several times before they take it off. They took it down? They, they took it down. The originator took it down. The, I don't know for what reason. So those who have the, who have the um, clipping, it off or, it, or they still have it? Well, according to if you put it in your library on your phone, you would have it. But if you have it on your phone on an app, it yeah. would automatically not play. They took it down. And where is it? Where is it? Where, you want me to discuss that a little bit because I find it was intriguing hearing that a set of our society people yeah. going to shoot the prime minister, they want to shoot the judges, they talk about judges. Yes, corrupt uh, officials. Corrupt officials. They did name a few and their official and their aff- the official affiliation with our Prime Minister and other members of cabinet. Well, you know, around election time, a close election, it does have the taboos and the, the little rumors. But sometimes it has had to take it, take it into consideration. Because there will, there will be 90% truth and 10% um, fable to some stories, if you really take the height or the gist of it. And yeah, this well. ghost gang thing seems to be something not to be taken lightly. lightly. Yeah, well, I'm saying the same thing you're saying, and I'm trying to sort of, I'm trying to sort of, before you cut in me and and thing like that. You know, (laughs) we had to some, I don't want to practice when we my previous (laughs) guests that that come in, only cut in me and things like that, right? I will make noise here, (laughs) all right? (laughs) No problem with that. The point I'm making here, right, something come across the public, view that they want to threaten the prime minister they want to threaten judges mm. they're stating that judges locking up people and throwing away the key meaning that they don't have a court date and all these kind of things like that mm. that is the point i wanted to make before you know you make your point right and um i believe that if, although they might take the wrong approach, if that is, you know, reality in society, I think that is something wrong. Because the people who is basically who they're locking up and throwing away the key, meaning that they don't have a court date and things, that is not, we're not in Afghanistan where they don't have no rules of the law, right? And we can't just look at that lightly and only focus on they did something wrong. The fact is they pinpoint in certain ills at the society. So if it is that is chaos and we're going down the road, they perhaps saying, well, better we put some grease for you to go down further. Because it ain't, it ain't working out. And that is how I just look at things. Right, right. Let us examine the, 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 the issues at hand. We can't just sweep it under the carpet because people continue to complain. True. All right? Yeah. So, the point we're making is in terms of uh, the whole uh, question of the. Uh, I want to get back to the point where the Prime Minister is talking about the affirmative oh, action. Affirmative. affirmative action. And how that will affect, how we could um, involve ourselves with this affirmative action. Because that, rep, that sort of statement, more or less, speak about us because we are saying that if society is perfectly run they wouldn't have no need for affirmative action Mm -hmm. everybody will be happy everybody succeeding and everybody going forward in life opportunity wise and so on Mm -hmm. all right so how we as poor people could benefit from this affirmative action that the Prime Minister is advocating currently. We as an organization have been advocating for various change and for whatever reason we seem to be touching the wrong chord when we when we asking for change, when we asking for employment for our youths, when we asking for better opportunity for our single mothers and single fathers. You know, it has tend to sort of say, well, all right, the authority, which is the councillors and the MPs and so on, knows best. You ain't supposed to advocate that. 
they have been elected to govern and you ain't supposed to talk about you know you want change you want benefit you want better betterment for the people that is it that is the temperament yeah the, there's center um, where the truth is Expose or expunge, mm. they, they tend to snuff that up to keep the people dumb down. Yeah, yeah, they they demonize you as well. Yes, yes. If yes. you're not strong, you yes, hush your mouth. You understand? If you ain't make out a metal, you stay quiet and you, 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 you bow your head or some kind of thing. Mm-hmm. You follow what I'm saying? And you know, we make several appeal to the powers, M- the powers that be, whether it's the PM or whether it's the United Nations or as the case might be and uh, we tend to not get in true because society sing one song. Stalemate, right? Right? So when the ghost gang jump up and say they're going to try to make some change, it's sort of singing a particular song and not advocating what they're saying, yeah, but, but at the same time, to some people, ears I had to listen. I had to listen. Eh? What's the some, point you're making? To then? some people, ears that song appeasing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well said. I can't put it over like you. Oh, you understand? So I, I, I went to all them high school that all the guys went to. You know? I just a fella who trying something. You follow me, I'm saying? Yes, sir. It's better to try and fail than fail to try. Eh? All right. Okay. So. Again, I want to make a, a, a statement in terms of I'm concerned about the views of the ghost gang. Mm-hmm. I ain't want to ignore it or afraid to talk about it or say, well, I am, I am supporting the ghost gang, or I's one of them, or I's a gorilla, or I's a communist, and all these kind of things. I ain't, I ain't playing that game. Right? Because when it goes young, it's saying if that is true, we need to pay attention to that yes. too. We need to pay attention if it is that people is being is being corrupted to such an extent, those in governance are corrupted. Where the ghost people they make the statement over the clipping. Yes. It is it is very appalling. Mm-hmm. Right? It is very it's appalling. Very appalling yes. Okay, so that is something we have to take a look at mm-hmm. and perhaps when we get some more further information about this ghost gang and so on, yes. we could um, you know, get to the bottom of it. I, I'm hoping this is just a, a figmentation of somebody making a joke here because those threats well, are very serious threats. It's very serious threat and it's, very, it's not only the threat we have to look at and it's the issue at hand mm-hmm. because people making threat is as a result of something. They ain't just get up one morning morning and they want to no, make a threat. The embodiment, of, right. uh, the, uh, the embodiment of the threat, mm-hmm. for those who took note and who heard the yeah. um, video, mm-hmm. is that we fed up. We yes. fed up of all you taking advantage of black people. Yeah. We fed up of all you having our country in a mess. Yeah. Quote unquote. Correct. So if this is, is a, but, exactly, that's why I say it's song appeasing to some people. And guys. if that is to trigger comment from the authority, mm-hmm. it, re, it required those type of appealing for them to pay attention. Or force them into action. Some Correct. People, some people only perform best under stress. Correct. So Now they might say we is ghost people too. <laughs> You understand? But I couldn't care less. I couldn't care less. Right? So long as they send a, a six or a seven at me. You understand? I cool. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them more, I, I ain't afraid. The, I don't think I. The ghost people ain't threatening the poor people who suffer. You know, no, the, the church ghost people, people making our country a mess. <laughs> they say, let us to be one back switch. You know, that. That's why I say the, the, the threat was appeasing to the air of many. Mm-hmm. Where they say we won back the nice times. I can't go online on the Excuse avenue. Excuse me for, for, for having that, this. Uh, that I is don't ever right. pick up something. That is alright. Every one of us tend to get a little bug and then we have the nice air condition up inside here. That making is. the place chilly and nice. Yeah, well, we're trying my best at our Michael Morgan show to sort of, you know, make our impact in society whereby we discuss issues that are affecting the community. You understand? No, no. We are very much concerned about what is taking place 
in our society and, and, and the reason this medium is geared towards highlighting these issues. And I would say I would wish that there would be a lot of support and fandom for the program Mr. Morgan because there's nobody taking the time like you to sit down and say, you know what, this is what is affecting my community. Mm -hmm. And I wish there would be other panelists who would come across and probably have one or two well, shows with I you. Have I, some, have I have some good news, you know. Uh -huh. Yes, um, some very uh, educated and popular um, guests would be coming on the show pretty soon. That would be Starting wonderful. from next week. That would be wonderful. And um, we would have more more heated debate and discussion for that is what it require in yes. terms of you know bringing something sensational so that the, the public will pay attention and perhaps come and highlight the issue and the yes. stories yes yes right so i guess uh, today episode was very um interesting and i want to thank you mr calendar for joining us again thank you all viewers and see you all next week